Hello and welcome to our reel on call handler greeting and caller input. To start, let's open our web browser and go to the IP address or name of our Unity connection server. In this case, 192.168.101.245. Now click on Cisco Unity Connection and enter your username and password. Then press Enter. This should redirect you to the Unity Connection management page. On the left, you'll see all of the options available to you, but we'll be concentrating on a section called Call Management. Under this section, you'll see System Call Handlers. Clicking that will show you all of the auto attendants on the system, as well as their dialable extension numbers. You can use these numbers from your internal phone at any time to avoid navigating earlier auto attendant greetings to hear later sub greetings. In our case, let's click Main AA. This brings us to the basic information screen for this call handler. We can see the schedule, time zone, and extension listed. To view the other options, click Edit on the top menu. This shows several options, but we'll be concentrating on Caller Input and Greetings. Click Caller Input to view all of the options available to a caller to select using their dial pad on their handset. Let's click Zero. Inside the Zero Caller Input option, you can select where you'd like this caller directed if they press this button. Currently, it's set to ring the Operator Call Handler, which is directed to the actual extension of the operator but we can choose several other options, including call actions like hang up, ignore, skip greeting, or restart the greeting. The directory handler, which would play the system dial by name directory, or a user with a mailbox. Be sure when selecting call handlers or user with mailbox that you pick attempt transfer or go directly to greeting. If you picked attempt transfer, it'll actually try to move the call to that user's phone. If you pick go directly to greeting, the user's phone will never ring. Also, when making changes, be sure to click Save at the bottom or top of this page. Now let's click on Edit and click Greetings. Under Greetings, you'll see all the available greetings to each call handler and user. Today we'll be concentrating on the main three, Standard, holiday, and alternate. Standard plays all the time unless it's overridden. The holiday greeting overrides it based on the holiday schedule defined under system settings. And the alternate greeting overrides all other greetings when enabled using this GUI or when using the voice greetings administrator. Click on standard to continue. Here you'll see the greeting status, whether it's disabled, enabled or enabled until a specific date, and what type of greeting you're hearing, whether it's the system default greeting, a voice recording, or nothing. Also available is during greeting options, and more specifically the after greeting options, which mirror the caller input options, giving you call handler, directory handler, and user with mailbox options, just as if you had pressed the number zero or any of the numbers on the dial pad. Specific to the Greetings area is the Recording section. Let's click the Play Record button. You may have to click to allow the Java applet to run depending on your browser's security section. Once open, you can see you have the option to select your computer or the phone for both playback and recording settings, as well as the standard button set of Play, Pause, Stop, and Record. As a note, under the Options setting, you can pick Open File, which lets you upload an existing recording or save recording in case you want to archive the recording that you're working on now. Also under here is the playback and recording settings. This is where you can set the number of the recording device. As always, make sure to click Save once you've made any changes or your changes will be lost. Please feel free to contact me if you have any questions or would like training on any other subject. Thank you. Signing off.